I am Dr. G. Mahesh, Associate Professor in Department of CSC, Sagaram Krishna Jinjan College, Bhemvaram. The present topic is uh, Select Command and its uh, options in uh, SQL. In uh, DBMS uh, course, the course code is uh, B17 uh, CS3104. The main objectives of this PPT are to explore select command different options and uh, to apply aggregate queries uh, on uh, tables uh, and to illustrate group by and uh, having a clause uh, for applying uh, aggregation queries uh, on uh, groups of uh, rows. Already we have seen the simple syntax for select command like select distinct selection list from from list where qualification in the previous slide shows. Uh, here uh, from list includes uh, the table names, selection list includes uh, as you know column names and where clause includes the condition for filtering the different uh, uh, rows. Now let us see the next query in which we want employee names and designations with names starting with the letter S. We don't know the other characters but the string starts with the letter S. For such queries there are wild characters like percentage and underscore. The percentage symbol represents unknown number of characters and underscore represents unknown number of one character. Uh, for example, str like uh, f percentage searches you all the strings starting with f. str like percentage l will search you all the strings ending with the letter l and str like f underscore underscore will give you the strings starting with f and two unknown characters like string fan. The present query will be now select ename comma job at the selection list and in the where clause you have to give ename not equal to but you have to use like operator here and then in single quotes yes percentage. The final query will be like this and the result will be Smith and Scott's details will be obtained but we want only names and designation. Therefore the result will be like this shown in the right side bottom corner. Now let us see a query including uh, null. What is uh, uh, null in uh, SQL? Null in SQL is uh, not applicable or unknown value. For comparing uh, with uh, null value, we have to use uh, uh, two things uh, that is uh, is null and uh, is uh, not null uh, operators we have to use. Therefore, the present query is the names of employees without commission. Therefore, commission is applicable to some salesman but not the other persons. Therefore, all the other persons, for all the other persons, you don't have any commission and it is not applicable. Therefore, you have to search for null values in the commission. The present query will be select ename from EMP where commission is null. Therefore, it gives you names of employees without commission. The final query will be select ename from EMP where com is null. The result will be like this. That is highlighted. That is rows and columns intersection.
Now let us see some arithmetic operations uh, that can be performed uh, while uh, obtaining the uh, data. In the selection list, not only the columns, uh, but also you can use uh, some uh, arithmetic uh, operators like uh, plus and uh, minus. Uh, the present uh, query is uh, employee salary if incremented by 200. Therefore, you can use uh, some operations like uh, column plus uh, column column minus column, modulus of column comma 10 for obtaining the modulus and uh, you can add uh, column pl value plus uh, some constant value. Here you want salary to be incremented by 200 therefore we have to use the last option like a column value plus uh, some constant value. Therefore, um, like uh, displaying the salary, first of all, you can directly give it as a select a sal from EMP. But uh, here, instead of a sal, you have to give a sal plus uh, 200 for obtaining the result after incrementing the salary by 200. The original value will be like that only, but uh, only display will contain the incremented values of the salaries. The final query will be select a sal plus 200 from EMP. A query which concatenates uh, two column values. That is, uh, we want employee names concatenated with uh, job. For uh, concatenating uh, uh, two columns, uh, we have the pipe symbol for concatenation. Uh, as shown in the demo, C1 uh, pipe symbol C2 will uh, concatenate the columns C1 and C2. First name uh, concatenation symbol, uh, last name will be give you the full name of the employee like that you can obtain the queries therefore the answer for the present query will be select e name pipe symbol job from emp here we want all the details of the employees that is all the employees details therefore all the rows you want now let us see the full syntax of a select command select a distinct selection list from a from list where qualification up to this point we have already seen but we can have a group by clause and then having clause and then order by clause as we already know selection list is used for selecting the columns from list is used for uh, selecting the data from different tables and where clause is used for selecting the rows based on the condition but uh, you can also use group by clause for uh, grouping the rows depending on some columns the columns are given in a group list and then you can also apply condition on aggregated data also using having clause and the condition is given in uh, g qualification here and uh, Order by clause is used for displaying the data in an orderly manner. Now let us see display names of employees in order. In order means in some alphabetical order. We have one class known as order by clause using which you can display the results in some ordered manner therefore we can use here the order by clause where clause is not necessary because all those we want and uh, the column names uh, should be e name here and then we have to use the optional clause order by at the end of this query so that uh, all the names of the employees will be displayed in alphabetical order. First Adams and then Ellen and uh, Blake starting with B, Clark starting with letter C like that you will 
obtain the result. Now let us attend this query and uh, mark uh, one of the options. What operator is used uh, while using uh, null values? You can click one of the options. After that uh, the answer will be shown. I have clicked uh, ease operator. Yes. It is uh, right. Now let us see some aggregation functions. The first function is a min of uh, attribute. Second function is a max of attribute for obtaining maximum of column values. Third thing is the average uh, distinct of a column. That means. Uh, it will give you average of unique column values and then the sum of a distinct attribute that will give you total of unique column values and then the count of a distinct column that will give you number of unique column values and then you can also use a group by clause and having clause for aggregate data. Now let us see some uh, aggregate queries. Uh, the syntax of a select statement for aggregate queries will be uh, select again a selection list from from list uh, and where class. But uh, at the selection list uh, you have to replace it with uh, aggregation functions. For example, you want uh, uh, sum of some uh, attributes, uh, then you can give it as a select the sum of uh, uh, whether you can give distinct or not, and then attribute name from EMP. If you want a sum of salary, then you have to give select the sum of sal from EMP. The result will be like this. And if you want a maximum of salary, you have to give select max of sal from EMP. And then you want how many jobs are there then you have to give select a count of job from EMP and then you have to count uh, uh, the number of uh, employees who get a commission then you can give it as a select a count of uh, COMM from EMP if you want all the number of records uh, then you can give select a count star from EMP and then if you want uh, the count all the employees uh, using uh, uh, an EMP and O, you can also give it a select count in brackets EMP and O from EMP. And then select a count of uh, jobs distinct. That means uh, only distinct jobs you have to count, uh, then you can give it like this. Uh, then you will get only five job distinct job names like this. Uh, Now let us see queries including group by clause. Group by clause can be used along with aggregate functions. Uh, uh, for example, if you want a sum of salaries uh, department wise, you have to group the rows uh, depending on the department number. Therefore, if you want such query, you have to use it like this. So select a sum of sales from EMP, group by based on the department number like this and uh, if you want uh, to display the department number also you can display it along with the aggregation function like this sum or select sum of cell comma dptnbo from emp group by dptnbo you have to use only the group by clause column name only here you should not use any other column name here along with the aggregation function. Now you can also apply or filter the data after aggregation. For example, you want to filter the groups which have the total salary 
greater than 9000 only then you have to use having clause after grouping the data like this select sum of cell yes from emp group by dpt and o having yes greater than 9000 here i have used one alias name for sum of salary so that the display is with the heading as yes here In this slide show, we have discussed about uh, group by clause and then uh, having a clause and also the order by clause.